Hello, hi, I'm Miss Monica Woods from Always in the Heart Ministry. And today I will be reading the Daily Bread. Today, well, I'm sorry, for yesterday, Thursday, February 11th, 2021. And the title will be The Ticking Watch out of Psalms chapter 37, verses 1 through 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. That will also be coming out of Psalms chapter 37, verse 7. A group of workers were cutting ice out of a frozen lake and storing it in an ice house. When one of them realized he lost his watch in the wind, all this building, he and his friends searched for it in vain after they gave a young boy who seen them exit went into the building. Soon he emerged with the watch. A skied how he found it. He replied, I just sat down and kept quiet. And soon I could hear it ticking. The Bible much about the value of being still and no wonder for God sometimes speaks in a whisper in the business of life. It can be hard to hear him, but if we stop brushing about and spread some quiet time, time him in the scriptures, we may hear his gentle voice in our thoughts. And that Psalms 37 and verse 1 through 7 assures us that we can trust God to rescue us from the wicked seams of the evil people, give us refuge and help us stay faithful. But how can we do this when trouble is all around us? Verses 7 suggests be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. We could start by leave by learning to keep silent for a few minutes after prayer or by quietly reading the Bible and letting the Word soak into our hearts and then perhaps we'll hear his wisdom speaking to us. Quiet and study as a ticking watch. The end. Question number one, how can you be still before God each day? Question two, what will help you stay silent and listen? Please feel free to comment in the comment section. And loving God, grant me the patience and discipline to stay still for a while each day that I might hear your gentle whisper in my life. Um, and two Bible verses that you can look into is Leviticus chapter 11 through 12 and Matthew chapter 26 verses 1 through 25. Thank you. Thank you all. Don't forget, um, for those who are not familiar, you can look in the front of your Bible in the table continents and it will lead you in the right direction that you need to be in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, would like to pray out. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning. Please continue to do so. Uh, I would like to pray for my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Miller, and also um, my children, my husband, Mr. Casa Woods, church family, New Covenant Baptist Church, Pastor Bobby Weed, and First Lady Gary Reed, and all my church family, Lord. And also, I would like to pray for Charles Ministry and you and your family, their friends, Lord, also our enemies, Lord. Just want to say thank you for everything that you do, you know, in this world to help us survive and just continue to do so. And um, I just want to pray for those out there, you know, homeless people. Uh, people don't have any place to stay, don't have any food to eat. I want to pray for healing. I want to pray for finances and all of those things, Lord, that we need once again to live in this world. And also, I just want to, you know, give praise and thank you so much once again. And thank you, thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you all. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. And don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep putting God first and everything will be okay. Thank you all. Love you all and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.